Hello, everybody. Welcome to Spotlight Over the City. This is a special, a special segment that we have been waiting to do for several, several months. I have been dying to catch up with this amazing woman since probably September. I think I saw her in the hair salon, actually, about seven months ago. And um, we connected, and I have been trying to catch up with her ever since, and I'm very, very grateful for this opportunity. We're going to talk about some fun things, and she has been such an amazing icon in the fashion industry for several years, y'all. And we're going to get the 411 on some things about MCM line, um, some clothes that we have seen in Macy's, and a fashion institute. We've got a lot of things to talk about with this amazing young lady, so before... Before I continue and go on with all of the accolades, I want you all to welcome to our show and to our Spotlight family, the lovely, amazing Misa Hilton, y'all. Thank you. Yes. Hello, beautiful. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I am doing amazing, and I am so grateful for your, your allowing yourself some time to talk to us at Spotlight Over the City today. I am Terry Long. My <coughs> husband and I do this show every Thursday. He's not with me today. He said it's the ladies, and we were gonna just do a ladies takeover for this segment. So okay. he bowed out gracefully, and nice. it's just gonna be- Let's go. Um, so the first thing that everyone wants to know about Misa is we know that you've been doing this fashion thing for a very long time. You got started at a very young age. When did you first realize that you had this passion? for fashion. Look, I got bars. When did you realize you got passion for fashion? <laughs> <laughs> um, I love fashion as far back as I can remember. I was and changing my hairstyles all day, every day, getting in trouble for making too much laundry for my mother um, because I would be changing my clothes. I would be styling myself. I was the first um, place that I could be creative was myself, my body and my hair and my clothes. And so, yeah, it goes back to, I would say about five years old. Five years old. So Misa, do you have siblings? Did you get to like practice on people or was it just, just you? I practice on all my best friends and my aunts and my mom and anybody who would let me practice. <laughs> I know that's right. So is it true that Mary J. Blige is one of the first uh, celebrities that you were able to start styling. Is that true? Well, yes. Um, she was in a celebrity in the making and I was a fashion stylist in the making. So we got to start at the beginning of our careers um, before we both had made it. And that's what makes our um, relationship and journey so special because we started together. Oh my gosh. So you both, like you said, you were both trailblazers at that time. So you were trailblazing in the fashion industry and yeah. Mary J. Blige was starting her career as an, as mm -hmm. an artist. Yeah. You all were able to come up together. Yes. I love it. Like sisterly love. I love that. Um, mm -hmm. And you all are still close to this day, aren't you? Yes. We are best friends. Best yeah. Friends. That's, sister. Uh, mm -hmm. that's your sister. I love it. So who? Yeah, that's, my son, that's my son's god, my, old, my eldest son's godmother. Really? See, I, I, that's another fact that I didn't know about Misa Hilton. So Mary J. Blige is uh, Justin's godmother. Yes. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So who is, is there a fashion icon that you admired most when you were, you know, getting in the industry? And is, is that the same fashion icon that you still have today? Or has that changed over the years? Someone that I, you, you know, admired? I was, I was mostly influenced by my environment, by the, um, by you know, the neighborhood around the way, if you will. And I was inspired by those people, you know, the streets were the runway for me. Mm -hmm. I love hip hop style, hip hop culture and black fashion. So I didn't have any specific fashion icon that I looked up to, but I could tell you that I love um, Shaka Khan and Cher, um, mm -hmm. Salt and Pepper, Roxanne Shante, Queen Latifah, um, yeah, Ooh, those, those, those are some of the people that I love their fashion. Have you ever fashion. Style, wow. any of them that you just named? Any of them? Have, hmm? have you ever had an opportunity to style any of the ones that you just named? All of them, really? except Sharon Shaka Khan. <laughs> <laughs> but I've styled Latifah, Salt and Pepper, Roxanne Shante. Um, Who else? Is yeah. So, yes, and, and Salt and Pepper, like I have been one of their... They're like a fashion icon for me because they used to always be so different in the trunk jewelry and 
all the bright yeah. colors and all of that stuff. I have always really been into that. You know, I've, I've never, exactly. yeah, I've always loved that kind of stuff. So um, I can, I can see now, I can see some, like I've really been following your journey, Misa, just so you know, for a, quite a long time because it, you have served as like my imaginary bestie for my style, right? And so I'm always looking at the things that you have done and some of the stuff that you wear. I'm really into the fashion line that we're going to talk about soon that you have put at Macy's, one of my favorite stores. Um, and so I just wanted you to know, give you your flowers while you're still here, that someone that you didn't oh, even know down you. here in the DMV has always just really admired you as a woman and your fashion, your sense of style. So I just wanted oh, you to know thank that. You so much. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Yes. And so how, how difficult was it getting into this lane? How difficult has it been? Any hurdles that you have faced trying to open your own fashion institute? Um, there are a lot of people who admire what you do and they would want to know like, what are some things that they should look out for as far as, far as hurdles to get into this industry? To get into the fashion industry? Yes. Well, I mean, you have to become knowledgeable about it, educate yourself, and then the next thing is to have experience. Yep, yep. The experience is probably mentorship. Mentorship is important, especially for people of color. We need mentors in this space to help us navigate. Once you get your foot in the door, you want to be able to stay in the door and stay in the room. That's exactly right. And so that's something that a lot of these young ladies and men out here would need to know. There are going to be a lot of people that's going to watch this interview. A lot of people have already been asking us about it and asking asking some of these questions that I'm asking you. So it'll be very helpful to a lot of the younger generation trying to get into this lane. To just Yeah. And, and, you know, I have young um, creators, but I have, you know, I have, I have students from 18 to the fifth to their fifties. I have some people who want to change their career. They wow. it, never had the opportunity or took the time to pursue a creative career, a career in fashion. So it's just not for young people, but we do have a junior fashion camp that we have each summer. And that's for high school students. Okay. But um, the program, the, the main program, the fashion, we have fashion styling street, we have fashion technology and a sneaker, um, a sneaker course called social studies, S-O-L-E, social studies. So that's, so super cool. So, so Misa, if someone wants to get involved with your fashion institute, what regardless, like you say, their age, um, would they have to come to New York to do that? Is there an opportunity for them to do anything with you virtually? How does you have that work? hybrid classes? So you could take on. Yep. So people can take online classes with your institute. Yes. Okay. And so, how would they do that? How do people get into so they they should go to www.misahilton h y l with a y h y l t o n fashionacademy.com. Okay. So that's www.misahiltonfashionacademy.com, and then you can fill out an application there and get all the the um, information that you would need. Okay, cool. And so filling out the application, they do everything online, and then. They will hear back from someone from your institute as 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 far as do, whether or not they got in and and what's next, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, tell us about your fashion line at Macy's. I'm oh wow! About um, that. <laughs> that I was a part of the Icons of Style Initiative, spearheaded by Duran Guillon, VP over at Macy's, and it was an amazing experience. Um, I did a collaboration with uh, the INC brand and I dropped three, um, three collections with them. And now this year they've just announced the new icons of style for this year, um, which I'm happy that they're continuing this opportunity for black fashion stylists and designers such as myself. I think it's super dope, but it was amazing to um, create those three drops and, um, um, three collections. And I also did jewelry as well. I did earrings, necklaces, bracelets. So it was amazing. And I got to do everything jewelry. Is sold out. Wardrobe. I've, yes. I've, and mostly yeah. everything is, is sold out. So listen, um, are you going to have more things available on, on Macy's for those of us who have been trying to get some of the, your line 
from the Mason. You got to stay tuned. You got to stay tuned. Stay tuned, y'all. <laughs> stay tuned. Keep stalking. Like, we've been stalking and waiting. So, y'all stay tuned for more <laughs> on that. Um, you're one of the faces. Are you still Are you still one of the faces for the MCM brand? Like, where is that? I'm a global creative partner. Yes, I just did um, yes. some custom design for um, Ian Dior and Little John for Super Bowl, a Super Bowl Rolling Stone event. And yes, I'm still with MCM. Yes, still MCM. You know what? That's one of my favorite brands from even when I was in high school, when they first came out with the first MCM totes. Um, I will say as an MCM lover that that's one of the leathers that I feel, in my own personal opinion, will stand up and hold over time. Over, it, I love it's MCM too. Timeless. And um, their stuff has always just been really great quality. So I will say that as a person who, who loves their brand um, on a personal level. So you picked a good one or they picked a good one. They picked <laughs> you. You're the prize. <laughs> you are the Thank prize you. for sure. Um, Misa, how do you juggle? How do you juggle being a mom? We know by following you on your social media that one of the most important things in your life is being a mom. So how do you mm -hmm. juggle being a mom of fame, uh, not, you know, not just famous, but just, you know, really amazing children and also keeping everything in line with all of the stuff you have to do as a businesswoman? How do you do it? Well, um, juggling being a mom, um, here because my kids are all adults now. Thank you, Jesus. You empty <laughs> they are adults <laughs> and it's their own thing. <laughs> so uh, my, my, my load is a little lighter, but I mean, it doesn't really get easier. You know, being a parent is a lifetime commitment. And but now they are able to take care of themselves. Um, so that's good. But how did I do it when I was younger? I yes. just did it. You know, it's nothing to do but to do it. You just, you know, there's some good days. There's some bad days. There's some things. There's some days when things go well. And there's some things with days when everything goes wrong. And it's just about picking yourself back up, getting back on track and doing what you have to do to keep it all together. But it is a juggle. It yeah. is a juggle. It's What's like, more? you know, you just got to have a rhythm and you got to have a system and you got to prioritize. Yeah. And then you got to have a support team, too. I'm sure that has been. Absolutely. Support. And you know what? Yes. If it wasn't for my mother, if it wasn't for the great staff that I had, if it wasn't for family and friends, I would not have been able to do it at yes. all. So, yes, you got to have a support system. You got to have a support system. I, I tell you, I even know that, you know, I've my three are not all grown. I still I have two grown and one that's still a teenager. But juggling trying to do your business as a boss lady and and, and raising children, you definitely have to have a support team. So I totally yeah. agree. Um, what projects, do you have any projects, any fun things coming up in 2022 or thereafter that we can look forward to? Anything that you can let out of the bag for us? Give us um, not anything I can let out of the bag at this moment, but I am proud that this year makes 10 years of the Miss Hilton Fashion Academy. We founded it, it. I founded the Miss Hilton Fashion Academy in 2012. So this makes year 10. Yes. So I'm very excited and proud of that. Yes. Um, and how we're expanding and growing. Ten years? Oh my gosh! Yes. And so, do years. you look at like? So, do you ever look at yourself and be like, "Damn!" Like ten years ago, this is where everything was, and then look at it at today and just be like, "Wow!" Like, look, yes. You know what I mean? Like ten years. Yeah. Wow. Ten years. Ten years. And it felt it went just like that so quickly. What? Well, but is there being able you would to touch the lives of of creators, you know, really has been a focus of mine mm -hmm. and I love it. Yeah. And so do you see yourself having this um, fashion Academy? Like, do you, do you envision it growing? Do you envision it, you know, one day stopping and you finally getting sick of it and tired of it? Like what's your vision for it long-term? My vision long-term, I mean, the fashion Academy is my legacy and I'm going to continue to educate and mentor and create opportunity and resources for creatives. Um, and that's it. So I want to see that grow and expand. Um, I want a building. I want my own building. I want yes. to um, be able to hold classes across the country and internationally. Yes. Let's. OK, so let's manifest all of that. So what we just did, we just put it out <laughs> in the universe and we're going to manifest that. And I see that for you as well. Like I see that happening and see it growing Thank into you. everything that you have imagined it to be. 
um, just because of your work ethic, um, your dedication, and, and like you have been in this game, like, like you've always put on your post. Respect the architect, y'all. Respect yeah. the architect, okay? <laughs> Listen, yeah. she has put in this work since she was five years old doing this thing. And so how can people best support your journey? Like, you know, um, other than, like you said, we can go online and go and, and, and put in applications for the academy if there's someone who in, who's interested in it. Oh, you froze. And anything else that um, people can do out there that can support you, make sure you take this opportunity to let them know how they can follow you, how they can support your journey, and anything else you want to put out there and plug, let's do it. Okay, sure. Thank you. Um, again, it's the Miso to Fashion Academy, Miso to Fashion Academy.com. If you're interested in learning about our courses, um, you can go there. Also, if you want to make a love donation, you can do that as well. That always helps. Um, and you can support by following us on Instagram at Miso to Fashion Academy um, on Instagram. And yeah, that's it. Just support whatever, you know, just support. Keep us in your prayers and it's positive energy. And, you know, just just those are that's how you can support. And I appreciate it all. Thank you. I love it. So we always like to ask this question before we let our interviewees go. Um, if you were in a car ride, Misa, you got a long car ride. Let's just say you got an hour drive. You're in a great mood. You, you, your fashion academy just got e extended over all across the world, like you said. So you're in celebratory mode. You can only listen to one artist, though, for the entire ride. Just one person. You can change the song, but not the artist. Who are you going to pick? Who are you oh. listening to? <laughs> That's hard. For hour? One hour. One artist, one hour. Mary J. Lodge. <laughs> so one, the last I think person that we had on the show um, last Thursday, we asked that same question, and that was her answer. She said Mary J. Blige <laughs> for the whole hour. Yeah. She wanted to Can't go to. wrong. Can't go wrong. <laughs> Good morning, gorgeous. So thank you so much, gorgeous. Yeah. I appreciate thank you, you connecting thank with Spotlight you. Over the City whenever, if you're ever. I mean, I know you're in the DMV a lot, but I just want you to know our doors are open here. We have an amazing studio here. We would love to have you hang out. We will roll out the red carpet for you here. And um, I just wanted you to know you always can rest right here at Spotlight Over the City whenever you're in the DMV. We consider you a part of our extended family. So thank you so thank much. Thank you. I appreciate that. I might take you up on that. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Please do, y'all. And um, you all make sure you support Misa. Make sure you support her journey. Make sure you follow her. Go to the website, www misa hilton fashion academy.com you can also follow them on instagram and keep up and we will stay tuned for anything new you've got coming out we're going to be right there supporting your journey misa I just wanted you to know that thank you all right and so you enjoy stay covid free girl and um i yeah. will, hopefully i will see you soon maybe i'll see you at the hair salon yeah. again one day soon yeah maybe you'll see me with your bad evies that's right shout out to my girl evie so big booty judy so. <laughs> um right. i said i shout out to evie i call her big booty judy that's my big booty. Uh, <laughs> shout out to evie yes. all right girl well you enjoy the rest okay. of your day and thank you so much again for joining spotlight over the city I'm signing off. Hey, thank you. You bye too. Bye.